Welcome to Sport Records. In today's video, we are going to show you the top 10 soccer players of all time. Are you ready? Here we go. At number 10, we have Eusebio the Black Panther was considered Portugal's greatest ever soccer player until Ronaldo came along. Score of nine goals at the 1966 World Cup Finals, Eusebio possessed explosive pace and deceptive ability. The forward turned out for a host of teams, but his best years were spent with Benfica where he averaged more than a goal a game. Eusebio told World Soccer Magazine in 2010 that he signs photographs of himself every night to give to children the following day. At number 9, we have Ferenc Puskas. One of the best strikers ever, Puskas averaged nearly a goal a game at club and international level. He was a prominent member of the Great Hungary team of the 1950s, known as the Mighty Magyars. Puskas was top league scorer with Real Madrid on four occasions and scored seven goals in two European Cup finals. He won five league titles with Budapest Hunt before moving to Real in 1958 and winning another five. The inside left also boasts three European Cups. At number eight, we have Alfredo Di Stefano. Di Stefano's achievement of scoring in five consecutive European Cup finals is unlikely to ever be matched. Born in Argentina to Italian immigrants, but playing internationally for three different teams, Di Stefano's career was nothing if not cosmopolitan. A player of exceptional fitness levels, the Seata Rubia, blonde arrow, was instrumental in Real Madrid's dominance in the 1950s, although the history books could tell a very different story if he had joined Barcelona instead of the Merengues in 1943. At number 7, we have... Michel Platini. A star with Nancy, Statien, and Juventus, Platini was a European champion for club and country after winning the 1984 European Championship with France and the European Cup the following year with Juventus. One of the best passers in soccer history and an expert free kick taker, the attacking midfielder scored nine goals in that 1984 triumph. At number six, we have Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese wing wizard deserves his place among the pantheon of greats. His goal-scoring record since joining Real Madrid for Manchester United is out of this world, and in January 2014 he notched his 400th career goal at the age of just 28. Ronaldo's performances in recent years have meant that alongside Messi, he is considered by some distance the best soccer player in the world. Pace, strength, control, and finishing, Ronaldo has the complete repertoire. At number 5, we have Franz Beckenbauer, Der Kaiser is the only man to captain and manage his side to World Cup victory. In the early 1970s, the German revolutionized the game with his switch from central midfield to an attacking sweeper role where he would dictate play from the back by dribbling the ball out of defense and joining in his team's attacks. He enjoyed his best years with Bayern Munich, where he won five Bundesliga titles and three European Cups, but he also spent time with Pele at the New York Cosmos. At number four, we have Johan Cruyff, the outspoken Dutchman excelled for Ajax and Barcelona in the 1960s and 1970s and is considered by many to be Europe's best ever player. His name was synonymous with Rhinus Michael's total football movement whereby players interchanged positions. Cruyff was effective in both wide and central positions and was famous for his ability to turn players. Winner of three Ballon d'Ors, European Player of the Year awards, Cruyff won eight Dutch titles and three European Cups with Ajax and also made a controversial move to bitter rivals Feyenoord. At number three, we have Diego Armando Maradona. Maradona is one of the greatest dribblers the game has ever seen. His hand of God goal against England at the 1986 World Cup and the stunning solo effort that followed sum up this flawed genius better than any words. Maradona did not always play by the rules and confesses that his expulsion from the 1994 World Cup after testing positive for ephedrine is one of his saddest memories. But the Maradona that captained Argentina to the 1986 World Cup and helped unfashionable Napoli to Serie A titles in 1987 and 1990 was irrepressible. At number two, 
we have, Lionel Messi, it is not an exaggeration to say that the Atomic Flea is now challenging Pelé for the crown of greatest ever soccer player and will surely surpass the Brazilian if the remainder of his career is as fruitful as the opening years. Messi joined Barcelona when he was just 13, scored on his debut at 17 and now wows the Camp Nou faithful on a regular basis with his dribbling, passing and goal-scoring exploits. He broke Gerd Muller's record for most goals in a calendar year when he scored an incredible 91 in 2012. At number 1, we have Pelé, a World Cup winner in 1958, 1962, and 1970, Edson Arantz do Nascimento, to give him his full name, is generally regarded as the greatest soccer player of all time. Pelé won multiple titles with Santos, with whom he played out the best years of his career, before joining the New York Cosmos for a brief spell. Scorer of 760 official goals, Pelé was a superb striker and dribbler of the ball, but could also combine well with his teammates and feature prominently in the build-up to goals. So there you have it, the top 10 soccer players of all time. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for all the support. This is Sport